Good morning guys, I hope you're all well. We are back for another brand new video, brand new reaction video as well. Um, we're going to talk about the root game from last night, which finished 2-2. Um, before we get started, we, have, we are so, so close to getting to 100, subscri to 100 subscribers. We are five away from reaching that mark. So if you guys can help me get those next five subscribers, I would genuinely mean the world to me. Um, it would feel so good <coughs> to reach that first target. So if you guys can help me get those final five, it would mean the world to me. Um, so let's get to it into it right away. Villarreal 2, Rangers 2. I'm not going to lie to you. I must have had about a half a dozen heart attacks watching that game. Some of it was pretty much end to end stuff. First half, Rangers were absolutely destroyed, dominated by Villarreal. But I was happy that we only went into half time with 1 0. Uh, goal, the goal came from Carlos Parker in the first 45 seconds. Uh, the ball, very unlucky, coming from uh, off of Joe Worrell between Worrell and Goldson. Um, Parker hitting a beauty. Which Alan McGregor had no way, no was never going to stop. He was never going to stop it. I McGregor was off his line. Fair enough. But let's be honest here. Come on, let's be serious. See, even if McGregor was on his line, if McGregor was still on his line, even if he was, like, even even if he was there, he was never stopping that. That had, that was going in. Whether he was on his line or not, there was no way he was stopping that at all. Uh, then Villarreal just dominated as attack after attack after attack, cross after cross, shot after shot. There was just, but we defend, we defend really good. To be honest with you, we done well. Um, they actually, I couldn't but. Three actually to tell a lie, it could have been three up. They could have been, could have been three nil up at half time, um, but <coughs> they wasted chances. Um, we defend it good, um, and I, I'm guessing there must uh, there must have been a, a Gerald Rocket because I would, I wouldn't surprise me if he was really really pissed off with their performance. Second half came. Um, Started the same way, really, for a wee bit. Villarreal wouldn't stop attacking. They could have scored two very easy goals. Um, they could have scored an open goal, which was very unlucky. But then when I say unlucky, he should have scored it, because it was right there for the taking. Um, then another one, where try tried to lob it over Al McGregor, but it just wasn't for happening. Another ch open chance to score. Um, you've got, they have... Surely Villarreal would have taken those two chances, really. But then, uh, 67th minute, uh, Tavani ran into the, bo ran into the box, passed it out to Daniel Kandias. Um Tavani was taken out. Referee played advantage, so if Villarreal had got the ball, either way, it would have been a penalty. Um, a good ball in by Daniel Kandias and and well put in by Scott Arfield for his first Rangers goal. It was actually a well taken shot. Um, very well taken first time as well. I think with his performances as of late, aye, up and down. But he has been a key player in that midfield. So with his early performances, it was criminal not of having him getting a goal to cap off these great performances. Despite the fact that Arthur didn't play that well last night. It was good to see him getting a goal. It really was. Not long after that, Villarreal take the lead again through Gerard um, Moreno. Um, <coughs> a good ball out by Santi Cazorla. What a player he is. He is their magician. He really is. Um, <coughs> taking it into his left foot. Cutting in. Then hitting a low shot into the near post. Which McGregor was getting nowhere near. <clears throat> but then again, Barisic could have done better defending. Um, 
by like I said about Cazorla. Like I said, he is their key, was their key player. Unlocking the defence, creating opportunities, making space as well. Honest to God, the amount of assists he could have had, it was unreal. And he also could have, could have had a couple of goals tonight as well, which he was very unlucky with. Uh, then Rangers equalise again through a 2-2, courtesy of the man himself. He's seven foot and he plays the flute, Kyle Lafferty. I believe it's a fantastic counter-attack. McGregor to Middleton. <laughs> Excuse me. Middleton with a fantastic patch across, near enough across the touchline to Borna Barisic, who made a brilliant run to try and keep up with the ball to uh, what was I going to say perfect run up to bring the ball in to Lafferty and Lafferty to equalise. It was a fantastic piece of play. Uh, then we for the rest of the game. Then, near the end, Scott Graham Jones came on, and what a statement he made. A bit of trickery. Playing, uh, playing out of the box, playing out to um, Scott Arfield, who actually could have possibly won the game for Rangers. Could have, could have done better with a shot. But he was very unlucky. We could have actually taken three points at that stage from Spain. That would have been the biggest statement from a Scottish team. It really would have. But then after that, we just sat back and let Villarreal take on the pre pile pressure on. But we defended well. The last attack of the game came from Carlos Barker, who... Actually, could have won it for Villarreal with the header just going narrowly right wide. But fair play to James Tavernier to uh, put pressure on him and for him to header it wide of the post. And then full time came 2 2. Fantastic by the Rangers fans, fantastic um, by them letting their voices be heard, try to drown out the. Villarreal support as best as they could. Um, <clears throat> but a professional performance for the boys. A well des I would actually say well deserved point because we did steal it. But a draw with it, but given our second half performance, a draw actually would have been a, a fair result. Uh, man of the match, Glenn Middleton. As much as I want to say Andy Halliday, picking passes at left, right and centre. Now this was an interesting start that I saw online and I was like, wow, that's amazing. Santa Cazorla's successful pass rate, 91%. Andy Halliday's successful pass rate, excuse me, 91%. The fact that Andy Halliday's matching Cazorla's pass, successful pass rate, that is nothing short of incredible. <laughs> It just goes to show that Steven Gerrard has well and truly lit a fire under that lad. And it just goes to show that he really, really is making a statement of intent that he wants to start for this for the team. And he is making a perfect statement. If we can see if we see if we can hopefully see him cap all these performances off with a goal, then surely that will cap off a fantastic resurgence for Andy Halliday. But Glenn Middleton has been man of the match. The minute he came on, the game completely changed. If Middleton hadn't have came on, I would have gave it to Andy Halliday because he kept that midfield absolutely solid. But it goes to Middleton. He came on, changed the game. Uh, we came on, things happened. When he came on, he just went straight for Villarreal, which prompted the other Rangers players to go for it, which I thought was brilliant. Um, we take the point away from home, which is fantastic. We are now nine games unbeaten in Europe, which is another incredible start. The last time we went a few games unbeaten in Europe was in the 90s, and we've actually got a Rangers team that can 
possibly match that or even better than that? I tell you what, if Steven Gerrard didn't shut his haters up before, I guarantee you, league, uh, the league start aside, where there's plenty of league games to go, we can count that out. But he is definitely shutting the haters up with a European start. It's, it's incredible. Nine games unbeaten, that's a brilliant start. And some folk seem to be underestimating it, which I highly would not do. But we leave Villarreal behind for now. One point, great result. Hopefully we can keep going and we can go 10 games unbeaten in the Europa League group stages. Things are definitely looking up for Steven Gerrard's Rangers.